I like things really simple. And you know, um, a, a concrete mixing truck. You know, I get a daily reminder of how our systems are being used. Uh, there in Dallas, uh, across from our facility, used to be this beautiful field with horses roaming around. And in the last two years, it has been transformed into the biggest construction site I've ever seen. Uh, they're adding 30,000 white collar jobs across the street. And you can imagine what the parking structure and the buildings look like uh, that have been, them been going up. But this is a real practical example of uh, concrete mixers that are digitally transforming themselves. So it brings the physical world and it makes it real. Mixing concrete may not seem all that unique, but anyone who's been around the construction industry, and I actually had to go out and ask these guys just what was happening here because we had a request that came in. And I found out that concrete is highly sensitive to temperature, altitude, humidity, expected usage, what life do you want, a bunch of parameters. And there's over 700 different recipes, believe it or not, for concrete. The most interesting thing, it's almost like cooking a cake. Once you put that in the oven, the reality is it has a finite life before it goes bad. And you know, from the time that it's mixed in that truck and you see it rolling down the road, they got 59 minutes to get it poured. And if it's not poured, it's waste. Now, in our case, it was a, uh, a guy who's got running a business. He's got 79 concrete trucks and that's what he does for a living. And his problem was, how do I get these trucks? Because things happen on the road. Light goes out. Light goes out, it's red. Now it's 15 trucks behind and they're going one at a time to get through this. The reality is there's a lot of physical things that happen that delays the pours. Trucks get in wrong, they don't have security at the right thing, there's problems. But it's his livelihood in that mixing truck. So they used our collaboration technology coordinating project managers, the mix expert, dispatch with the truck drivers. And one thing that you'll notice, and we've always talked about mobile, most of these applications, yeah, they have the desktop, and yeah, they have uh, you know, iPads and that stuff, but a lot of times the users that are in the field end up using a mobile, the Super Bowl, the demos that we showed. People are nomadic, especially in services industry. And the key is, having that seamless ability to bring it all together. You know, in this particular example, the concrete truck driver has been able to dramatically reduce the number of waste just by using the collaboration tools to truck 37, go here. In the queue, I got five trucks lined up. The last truck, you go to the head of the line. Your, your, your pour is becoming time sensitive. So, you know, when you think about digital transformation and how it impacts companies, it's just not about the most sophisticated IT company. The reality is, as I said earlier, every industry, every use case can somehow be impacted by this. It's about being efficient and effective. You know, this isn't a moonshot. I said that earlier. It's straight up the hill, get it done, approach to doing their job, and the reality is they're using technology to digitally transform their company. You know, what's next? So this is one of the exciting parts of the My Tell Next for me because uh, you get kind of a peek into our labs of what we're working on and what's coming down the pike. What, you, what you'll notice is, is most times we show technology and then at the next or the next one after that, we actually commercialize it. So the, the fact of the matter is the things that we'll show you kind of from our labs now are not two, three, four years out in the future. Uh, they're a little bit closer than that. 